Hello and welcome to this class for the Micro Studio version of the Flower of the Month Orchid from Two Red Robins. It's a beautiful, beautiful um, little collection of designs, lots of different colours in there as well. I'm going to show you a quick demonstration on using the digi stamps with the coloured images. So let's get straight into it and have a look. So with the graphics program open, we're going to go into the Flower of the Month Orchid folder in the top left box. So you can see we're just going to click onto that and we'll go into the scene building folder and you see we've got all these beautiful colours. I'll just show you on the index sheet. You can see here we've got all of these gorgeous colours. So we've got the, um, the Builder Bouquet Orchid where we've got the, um, the flower heads. We've got the um, little sprigs there. We've also got the buds and we've got some uh, foliage and little um, stems as well. And then we've got the Over the Edge Orchid as well, which is absolutely stunning. You've got that whole... Um, the whole orchid there with everything um, there ready for you to uh, to work with. So we're actually going to do something just a little bit different on this one. So we're going to go down to our Builder Bouquet orchid, um, down past that one, and we'll go into the Over the Edge. And I'm going to work with the, um, let's work with this beautiful um, peachy orangey one here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the um, the over the edge flower. I'm going to bring the digi stamp on for the same one. So you can see we're just clicking on the folders, the images appear below. If you are new to Micro Studio, there are full step-by-step um, um, -step tutorials on the features of the graphics program. Just pop onto one of the other playlists on the YouTube channel and you'll see those. But you can see here, you can pop the um, digi stamp straight over the top and it looks like we've coloured the image. I'm going to zoom into the page a little bit more for you so that you can see that in detail. So the image is the same size, you can see the digi stamp here, I'm just going to pop it straight over the top and it looks like we've actually coloured it in. So you can see that there. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to move that to the side and select this one and I'm going to just soften those colours a little bit just to give us a soft pastel look. And we're going to come across with our digi stamp, so just line that up over the top. And then I'm going to actually change the colour of the digi stamp. So to change the colour of a, a black image, which is where our, all of our digi stamps are, we actually need to use the colour boost sliders. So with this one being um, orange, I'm going to use the red slider and I'm just going to move it across just a little bit. So you can see we're actually changing the tone of that digi stamp from a solid black. And again, I'm just going to zoom in a little bit more so that you can see. So it's, it's really solid black at the moment. But if I just move this slider across, you'll see that we're adding in some red into this particular digi stamp. So we're actually changing it to tone with the colour of the flowers. What we can also do is soften the digi stamp just slightly if we want to using the opacity. So you can see we're fading it down there. So you can fade it all the way down. So there's the actual um, imagery originally. But if we come back up here, we can add the line detail if we want to. I'm actually just going to soften this just a little bit so that we've got a little bit of the fading on there but you can see that we've got that beautiful detail in there. And if I go to the Layers tab, you'll see that we can actually switch off the, um, the flower itself and have just the digi stamp on there, which we can print out and colour in if we choose to, or we can print and have just as a really simple, uh, clean and simple um, card on if we wanted to. And there we can have it with or without the detail of the design over the top. So I'm just going to zoom out of the page so I'm going to zoom out there so we can see the whole of the page and I'm going to just select everything that's on the page because I want to grab hold of both of them. At the moment, if I resize, we're just going to resize one layer. So I'm going to click on select all. You see that's actually selected both of the layers that we've got on the page. I'm going to click on group and we're just going to resize this down just a little bit just to pop it up in this top corner here. I'm actually going to resize my page because I want to make an A5 card. So what I'm going to do I'm going to go into the print tab, I'm going to click on page size, I'm going to change my page to A5. So now I'm working on an A5 as if I'm working on a card front, um, but I'm actually going to make, um, I'm going to make a little bit of um, an invitation here. So I'm just going to pop this one just to this top corner here, and then we're going to right click and copy, and right click and paste. And what we're also going to do is we're going to flip the one that we've just pasted. So we're going to flip it horizontally, you can see when we click right click and select flip, we have horizontal and vertical and the little red arrow show you which direction you're actually going to flip. So we're going to go in that direction there and then we're just going to bring this one over to this side and this one just to here so that they're meeting in the center of the page. And then what we're going to do now is click and drag a box over everything on the page, back to the home tab and group them. 
going to copy and paste again. So we can either right click and copy, right click and paste, or we can press the buttons up at the top. We're going to bring this down. So you can see there, we're bringing it down. What we're going to do is we're going to flip this one, but we're going to flip this one vertically. So you can see we've created a bit of a frame there. So we could actually use this um, on a square card if we wanted to. But what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to grab hold of everything on there and I'm going to group it again. And I'm actually going to rotate it. So to rotate the image, we've got the little circle at the top of the page. So we're going to rotate it around and you see as we click and drag, it actually um, goes in your angles. You can see it gives us exact angles. If we hold down the shift button on the keyboard at the same time, it actually snaps to 45 degree angles. So I can pop this on here, pop that just there, and then we're just going to stretch it up. And I'm just going to stretch it just this way, just a little bit, just so that it actually fills a bit more of the page. So you can see there, we've got that on the page. And then I'm going to change the, um, the color of the background, but we'll do that when we go back to a full A4 page. But at the moment, I'm just going to add some text. So we're going to come back to the um, text tab, click on add text and pop this in the center. So I'm just going to type, save the date. Um, so let's get rid of the colon and we'll put we're getting married. And then we'll just press Ctrl and A on the keyboard to select everything. We'll center the text. We'll pop it into the center of the design there. We'll change the font to something a little bit more, um, maybe we'll go a little bit more um, flourishy on this one. So let's go, let's go with that one. Um, so you can see all I'm doing to change the font is just clicking up on the box in the top left. And I'm just looking for something that's a little bit more, a little bit more romantic. So let's go with, Let's have a look. Actually, let's go with the line palatine. I love it. That's one of my favorite fonts. I'm just going to change the color of the text. So I'm going to zoom into the page so that you can see what we're doing. So you can see um, at the moment the text is black. So we're going to go into the brushes tab. And you see this box here. We can click anywhere in this box and we can change the color. We can also move this up and down. And when for every box, every, um, every section on here, we can click anywhere in the box and get any color that we want. There are millions and millions of different shades in here. So you can see everywhere we move up and down here, we can go to tints of that particular shade. So while ever we're clicking in here, this is staying at the same shade. So we're looking at tonal designs, but we can get quite close to the design that we're actually working with. But to get to an exact color match, we use the little picker that's underneath the, um, the box there. So we click on there. And I was going to click on the darker shade of pink in the text there. So you can see there we've clicked on the image. But if I come back and click on the peach up here, you'll see that the text has changed again. And this is exactly the same shade as the color that we're clicking on. So you can see when we click on the picker, the mouse changes to a pen and then we just click. So when we actually pop the point of the pen, so the nib of the pen is actually the dot that we're going to click on to, to select the color. So I actually quite like that one. So we'll go with save the date, we're getting married, and then we'll um, probably ought to put a date on there, didn't we? So, um, so let's go with um, 14th of February, seems quite uh, appropriate. So we'll, we'll pop that onto there, and there's the front of our wedding invitation complete. So what we want to do now is change the page back to A4. So we're going to go back to um, the print tab, change the page to A4, and we're going to change it to landscape. And we're just going to move all of this over to this side. So you can see that there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to press the set button. And what that will do is actually change the white area on the page to the color of this box. If I do that at the moment, it's going to blend in quite a lot, but I'll, I'll do that anyway and show you. So we just press the set button and it changes. Now, obviously we're blending in quite a lot and the text has disappeared. So what we're going to do is we're going to use that color picker again and we'll choose one of the softer shades. So you can see that's changed the text. What we want to do is change the background. So I'm just going to undo and make sure I've got nothing selected. So I'm going to click on that color picker, click on that soft shade and then press the set button. And there you can see we've got a beautiful um, design there. I just want it just a little bit softer so we can either click on the picker 
and select a slightly softer shade and set it. Or if we wanted to, we could just move this little dot just up here to wherever we want it and then press the set button and we change the shade again. So now this is actually ready to print out as, um, as a wedding invitation. So I'm just going to save this file now. So again, as always, we have the options to save as an MCS class or as a JPEG. So I'm going to save this one as a JPEG. So we'll call it Orchid Invitation. And then what we can do when we're ready to actually create the, um, the actual invitations is we can come back in and we can edit the, fact that edit the text, we can um, personalize with names. And what we can also do is we can um, create a new folder so we, here we go, we've got a new page, change that one to landscape as well. And then if we come back to this one here and we select everything on the page and copy into this one. And then if on this one we paste, so you can see we've pasted that design into there. What we can do now is we can um, click on the color picker, click on this little light shade here and set. I'm just going to switch the grid and ruler off quickly. And then what we can do now is we can actually pull this group over to this side we can soften this right down so go back into effects fade that down like so what we can also do is we could rotate this around if we wanted to and pop it so it fills the whole page and then that can be our insert i'm just going to undo that because i prefer having it over on this side and then what we can do now is have the detail on that side and pop a little bit more information on there this could be the order of service um, so we can actually create personalized wedding stationery and everything can match perfectly using the actual um, graphics program. So if we put here order of service and then we can put arrival, song, vows, and then we'll just put um, song and party. And there you can see that can actually be the order of service. Maybe you'd want a little bit more information in there, a little bit more detail, but you can see that we can actually create personalized wedding stationery within the graphics program. And all we're doing is creating the, the, the frame with the flower of the month orchid. What we can also do just quickly is if I just go back to the files, um, go back to scene building. And if I just get that particular flower back on, so you can see this is the original one. We can shrink this down. We can just tile it to make a backing paper. And again, all of these features that I'm doing quickly here, just to give you some inspiration on using this particular set of um, designs are detailed in a lot more thoroughly in our monthly classes, which are on the YouTube channel. I'm just gonna move that one to there, click back on tile and pull it down at the bottom. So you can see we're just creating a backing paper here just to um, just to uh, give us something else to do a little bit of matting and layering with if you wanted to. So there you can see we've got a perfect set of wedding stationery. So if I just save that one as well, so we'll call that order of service, save it as a JPEG so it's ready for printing. Call it orchid. And then this one is going to be our orchid paper and there you can see so we've just created some little files there using the graphics program just to uh, show you something a little bit different i hope you've enjoyed the uh, the class um, just a little bit different um, wanted to show you something a little bit more um, a bit more clean and simple a bit more uh, bespoke with the orchid because i think it actually um, it really sings to clean and simple card making um, but yeah absolutely use it in any way you want with micro studio and i hope you've enjoyed this class and i can't wait to see what you create with it um, share your um, share your questions and comments with us below and share your makes in the facebook group and i will see you again soon thank you very much for joining me bye if you want to see more from highlight crafts make sure you click the like button Subscribe by clicking the subscribe button below and click the bell icon to receive notifications of our future content. You can also click here to see our latest video or click here to see more videos like this one.